Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. For those of you who are first learning Photoshop, I'm going to show you a quick, effective way to create a basic reflection. Let's change the background from white to black. If your foreground color is black, press Alt-Delete or Option-Delete on a Mac. Call up your Type tool and click on the Character Text box. For this example, I'm choosing a font called Arial Regular. Click the color box to choose the color of your text, choose a color, and then press OK. Click on your document and type out your text. To reposition your text, click on your Move tool. Click on any letter and move your word. Let's close the text windows. We'll make a copy of our text by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up your Transform tool and go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. Press Enter or Return to accept the transform. Press Shift, click on the text, and drag it down. Press your up or down arrows to position it until there's a little space between both lines of text. In the Layers window, click on the Layer Mask icon. Click on your Gradient tool, and click on the Gradient box. Click on the black to white preset thumbnail and press OK. Make sure your linear gradient icon is chosen. Bring your cursor to approximately three quarters from the bottom of the reflection and press Shift as you click and drag up to the point where the text begins. Then release your mouse or pen. In the Layers panel, we'll change the opacity of the layer mask to 50%. Let's blur the reflection as it recedes into the surface. Go to Layer, Rasterize, Type. Call up your Blur tool. Make sure its size is approximately half the size of the visible reflection. Use the right or left bracket keys to make it larger or smaller. Press Shift as you click and drag your cursor back and forth across the bottom of the reflection. Using these steps gives you a quick, effective way to create reflections for most objects and text. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.